Welcome everyone to a, a tutorial on uh, sh how to use Bibliometrics R package for Bibliometric and Co-Citation Analysis. My name is Eric, I'm a research fellow at the University of Agder and today uh, I'll show you guys how to install and run the Bibliometrics package for your analysis. Um, before we begin, uh, there's a website, all the resources you need, which is bibliometrics.org. It contains the the links to the uh, programs you can install and uh, several guides on to how to use the bibliometrics package but uh, I'll show you through the video on how to do it exactly uh, first you need to install R and R studio so you can go to these links click and make sure you select your appropriate version after you've installed R studio um, the second step would be to have your uh, uh, sample file ready from your either Web of Science or Scopus database but I'll be working with Web of Science uh, database and make sure it is a bibliometrics type file you can also do with the plain text but I'll show you how to use the bibliometrics file bib file so if you do have RStudio installed and ready then I can show you how RStudio works this is the interface, this is the console area where you put in your codes and commands. This is the environment where you put your get your output files for the files you can work with. And these are some helpful boxes which can guide you for your package usage. So the first thing you have to do is make sure um, you click on the console. Then you can type install. We want to install packages as our command. Inside the parenthesis, you want to have brackets and type bibliometrics. Bibliometrics. And press enter. So now RStudio will install the package for you. All the required uh, files and uh, what's needed for using the bibliometrics package. But it might take a while. So uh, you might grab a t coffee or tea or come back when it's ready. And then can use the package. So um, after the package has been successfully installed, that is when you will read the download banner packages are in, etc. That's when your bibliometrics package is now ready. So um, now we can start to begin using the package. So there's two ways to open. You need to first open the package to make sure it's now ready to use. There's two ways. You can you can go to the packages tab. On your right hand side, click on Bibliometrics, and you'll see it has an allow loaded the library, as you see. Or you can also do the command, uh, library library command, which is library, and you select Bibliometrics. It will be the same. Now, um, usually when you do load your library, uh, your pa Bibliometrics package. You will automatically open what's what's called the uh, the source file for running the commands. But if it, in the case it doesn't, don't worry. I'll show you how to manually open the source file that you can work with. Uh, you click on file, open file, and you need to go to your uh, directory for where your packages are, which is usually on your user documents and R. Click on Win Library 3.4 Bibliometrics, and you select Doc. So if you're in the Bibliometrics folder, if you go to your User and Documents R Win Library 3.4 Bibliometrics, and then Doc, you see you have something called Bibliometrics Vignette. Um, select the one which says R file Bibliometrics Vignette R, and this is basically your the recipe for using the package. Um, this contains all the useful codes for you to run your CTEP bibliometric and co citation analysis, and I'll show you how to uh, work through this uh, recipe. So, um, the first line is obviously uh, loading your package, which you have done. The second command we need to do is to load the data. We need to use the sample file we got from the Web of Science database. And it should be in bibtex format. So locate your file 
So if it's in your desktop or in a specific folder, it depends on when your file is. But in my case, it's in my desktop. So I will go to my file. I'll just move them for convenience. I'll put it in documents. So my files are in my documents. And what's important as well is to make sure that the dashes are um, the default dashes, which is from bottom left to up right. Otherwise, the, the, the line won't work. It can only work with one type of dash. So um, I have two files. I'll show you how to actually combine multiple files if you do have so. But for now, I'll show you how to use one. So you, you find your file. Uh, in my case, it's in my documents. So I have two files here. Um, a quick way to see your path is just, just simply if you use Windows, uh, check your pathing by clicking on this here. And you'll see that it's in my users, uh, PC name, and the documents uh, folder. So after you have uh, successfully found where your file is, then you can click Run or Control Enter. So let's click Run. Just a moment. Oh, you need to also specify the type file. So it should be saying uh, the file, what it's called, and then the f type file. So it's a bib file. And you see now it was successful and we got some values in the environment. So that means it was correct. Um, but this has to be converted so that the RCU can actually use the sample. So there's a converting uh, command. And this is where you adjust where you got your sample file from, whether it's uh, ISI Web of Science or Scopus, and which format. In our case, it is from ISI, and it is a bib, bib file or bib text file, so this should be not changed. But in the case you do have a plain text file, you need to write plain text. But in my case, it is a bib text file, so I don't need to worry. And when you have done so, you click Run. And you see, now we started to count some articles. And we got some set of data here. Now, if you have multiple uh, files, then uh, you need to, um, you can add an additional command. You can copy the path directory if they are in the same folder and then you can click run so now it combines two files together and it can convert them both together now you'll see we get get more articles for extraction so in the case you have two or more just make sure you have uh, separate lines for each of the files with their pathing uh, outline so now we have the articles extracted for the package ready. Um, I'll show you now the. This is as long as this is correct, then you you can do the the rest of the commands by itself, and you can do this by clicking source. So when you click source, it will run all these commands for you, and present to you the outputs. Um, Make sure it is set on plots so you can see the type of plots um, the package will give you. So now if you click source. You'll see that RCU is starting to work, um, work in analyzing your sample. Starting to give you some nice plots and graphs. Um, which might, might take a while. But it gives you. It starts to gives you the uh, the general citation information you want. Um, it defines some uh, outputs per year. Um, it gives you 
coupling network maps. So yeah, I'll show you quickly um, what kind of outputs you get. But I do have two files, so it might take a while to start analyzing all the different uh, information that my samples have. So uh, after letting the, uh, the package run for a while, it will give you several uh, outputs. But let's just start to see in the console what information my sample have, because you will have um, some basic information, uh, citation information of your data. So I can see how many articles I have, my type of sources, the journals, what type of keywords we ap appeared, the average citations per article, amount of orders, etc. And um, it gives you a nice uh, quick overview on your sample to and to confirm to see whether or not um, it's the relevant sample you're looking for. Um, I can also look at the most relevant sources. One of them is the International Journal of Intercultural Relations. Um, or relevant keywords. It's a sample in cultural intelligence and global mindset and cross culture, cross cultural. So it's expected they will be top keywords. Um, and yeah, you also get some plots or simply graphs which they design for you. Um, I'm trying to take you to the beginning uh, to show you. So yeah, uh, this is for instance, uh, if you want to look detailed on the plot, you can click zoom and it will open it separately for you. And you see my, the keywords that occur in the uh, sample is a lot of cultural intelligence, but some new keywords, as you can see. Uh, you can get a plot of most productive countries and etc. So this shows you how to to use the vignette or the recipe, cooking recipe to get all these type of plots. So have a look on them. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to use the specific call citation uh, function if you want to do call citation analysis. So stay tuned.